Okay, our last lesson in this chapter here is similar solids. Similar solids, the, the only thing that's important, really the concept that's important to keep in mind when you're dealing with similar solids is that just because you increase the ratio between two different shapes doesn't mean that their overall surface areas or volumes are going to increase by exactly the same uh, ratio. Let me see if I can explain what, what I mean by that. Um, if I draw two squares, say we have one like this, and we're going to say this, uh, this square here is two units on each side. So we have two by two like this. And then I do another square, and instead of being two by two, it's four by four. Yeah? If that's if that other square is four by four, then oops. Why am I oh there we go. It's four by four, then their sides are in a ratio of two to four or if you like a ratio of one to two. But their area, their surface area, isn't going to be in the same ratio because this key or this square right here is two units by two units. So it has an area of four units, whereas this one is a surface area of four by four. So it's gonna have 16 little squares covering it up. So its area is 16 units. That means that although the sides are in a ratio of 2 to 4, the areas are in a ratio of 1 to 4. So the bigger one has an area that's four times as big as the smaller one, even though the sides are only twice as long. And that's because really it takes 4. If I start with my little one over here, if I go 2 by 2, if I double the length, then I end up with two of those squares side by side. If I also double the height, then I take those two squares, and then I have two of those stacked on top. So I end up doubling my double, so to speak. I end up with four times. So if the ratio of two shapes have sides that are twice as big, one twice as big as the other, then their surface area is going to be two squared or four times as big. So really what you can do is just find the, surf, the uh, ratio of the two shapes by taking any two sides, finding their ratio, and then squaring that ratio to find the ratio of their surface area. Volume works exactly the same way, except that with volume you have a third dimension. So if the sides, if the solids are similar and they have a scale factor of say two to one, then the volumes are gonna be in a ratio of eight to one because it's cubed. So for volume, if, if we have a, a comparison of 2 to 1, then for volume, it's actually going to be 2 cubed over 1 cubed, or 8 to 1. So for volume, you cube the ratios, top and bottom. And then for surface area, you square the ratios, top and bottom. And we'll go over a couple of these examples and, and clarify that a little bit. But uh, what's important to recognize is that you can't just double the overall size or double the overall area and volume because you doubled one length. You have to you have to figure out the number of times that you're multiplying that thing by itself. So let's take a look at the example questions.